In central North Carolina, Durham's Museum of Life and Science spreads out over an 84-acre park. Admission in 2024 ran $15 for visitors between the ages of 16 and 61, with various discounts for others. My daughter had a membership, so we raced on past the admission turnstiles. Visitors entered via the Science Building, where the Entry Hall offers hands-on demonstrations. What does that feel like? Various games and videos encouraging imaginative building create a great educational space for children. This was one of my favorite exhibits. I love the perspective it gives on how small we are compared to the size of our planet. This was one of Clark's favorites, demonstrating the chance for rolling marble, finding a target. The entrance to the space exhibit shows a large panel commemorating man's landing on the moon. Clark jetted up the stairs, eager to see this mock-up of the Apollo Command Module. Wow, that's a big space lunar module. In front of the museum is this half-sized model of the Mercury rocket. It still amazes me to realize man has been in outer space. The Carolina Wildlife Hallway has a few live birds for children to gawk at, including exhibits of matching eggs and nests to the builders. Of course, kids love reptiles. The Wildlife Hallway shows alligators, snakes, and turtles. I could spend an hour watching the ant farm. Look at them scurry. Just before entering the park, children pass by and then can enter a huge play area. The red rubber balls are used in several of the different contraptions. Outside the building are 84 acres of outdoor fun. Every child enjoys banging on things. <laughs> Adults do too. This huge sandbox comes with its own supply of dirt moving trucks. Next stop, the Hideaway Woods. Through this tunnel, 
you come upon these gigantic tree stumps to climb around. And then, the ultimate activity for children, a gigantic treehouse. There are eight rooms connected with rope and plank walkways and three slides. On the way to the next adventure, walk along this bubbling creek or splash in its waters. Stacks of boards invite young people to build shelters or knock them down. We've come up from the south to the center of the park. To our left is the train. We'll take a ride on that later. Further north are all sorts of adventures, but they seemed a bit much for our five-year-old explorer. So we turned to the right, down to the Butterfly House. What kind of butterflies do you have here? Well, look at this um, chart right here. That shows you some. Uh, we don't have all of those. We set the controls for high humidity and high temperature to keep it the way they like it where they come from in the tropics hmm. and we uh, plant flowers to give them nectar and when we put up fermenting fruit some butterflies like the juice from that do you grow your own butterflies no no we have uh, uh, we, we have the chrysalis or the pupa oh. which some call a cocoon but that's a moth oh. uh, we do have some moth cocoons if you look in, on, there's a display over there with uh, chrysalis and cocoons hanging, and you may see a butterfly come out of one, and we buy them from farmers in tropical countries, and they send them to us. Ah, pretty neat. Every thing. week we get several hundred new ones. You get several hundred how often? Uh, once a week. Once a week. Yeah. Because they have a short lifespan. Yeah, only a few weeks. Yeah. Although the garden and flowers were lovely, the quantity of butterflies was low compared to other butterfly conservatories I visited. The insect exhibit also had very few specimens. But hey, what kid doesn't want to see dozens of hissing cockroaches? Cockroaches, oh my gosh. That's disgusting. On the way back from the butterfly house, we came upon the farm exhibit. There's a burrow, and a sheep chewing her cud, and a couple of curious llamas. My favorite is a pot belly pig. What kind of pig is it? She's a pot belly. She's oh. actually miniature. Miniature pot belly? So she would be a lot bigger. How old is the pig? She is over 15. How long do you expect them to live? 10, 12. Wow. Yeah, she's really old. We end our visit with a ride on the train. An engine with four passenger cars, it travels twice around a loop about a half mile long, including passing the dinosaur and through a tunnel. Oh boy, lots of fun. Of course, every museum has a gift shop. This one is full of toys and puzzles and delightful things for children of all ages. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube videos.